joining me for this live tour of this most beautiful listing in Nevada City, California. I can tell you right now, smelling these pine trees is absolutely amazing. So if you're watching me from Southern California, why don't you trade in those palm trees for some of these beautiful, gorgeous pine trees? Let's come on in, take a tour of this most amazing home. It was built in 2011 and it is 6,332 square feet. It can house multi-generational family with enough space for entertaining and privacy for everyone. Not to mention it has a fully equipped guest house. So let's start on the main house, come on in. Now remember, this is your opportunity if you cannot get to the house to ask any questions. If you'd like me to go back to a certain room, I'm more than happy to do that. But let's start here in the formal living space. Ample space with a beautiful fireplace. Small bar, which is equipped to be a wet bar. Take notice of the windows. Every window in this home has an amazing view of all the surrounding trees. You really feel like you're in a lush green forest. It's open and inviting with a nice entry to greet your guests. Double French doors to enjoy the outdoors. The dining room with these beautiful dual chandeliers and plenty of space to entertain. As we go around the corner, you'll see that the fully remodeled kitchen. As a matter of fact, the whole house was remodeled by my sellers. Everything from ceiling to flooring. And take a look at the beautiful engineered wood, hardwood floor inlay with marble. It's elegant and durable. The space in the kitchen is amazing. You have ample storage, an enormous wood island with sink, and take a look at these true refrigerators. Stainless on the inside. Custom lighting, which you can change the colors. Beautiful wine cell refrigerator. Quartz countertops and craft made cabinetry with soft clothes, drawers, cabinets, dual Fisher Pikel dishwasher. Everything is brand new and beautiful. And take a look at this range. This is made in Italy. It's an Ilve Majestic 48 inch. The pop filler. Looks like we're liking the kitchen. We love the kitchen. <laughs> you have a private breakfast nook. And I just want to point out this would be the best place to have a little bit of morning coffee on a covered veranda while enjoying the outdoors. We have great Wi-Fi, but sometimes if we step outside of the building, we may lose you, but just stay with us. We have quite a bit more to tour. The family room, as you can see, is just enormous. These windows, again, are fabulous views into the upper trees. Massive fireplace. And if any of you are pet lovers, I thought this would be a fun little space for a dogs. 
sleeping area or storage or maybe another wine, a place to store your wine. You can see all the custom ironwork on the dual set of stairways. I want to show you the primary suite, which is on the main floor, which is always a good thing. And it, it is so spacious. You can see the entry and the beautiful, beautiful view. You have a seating area, actually two seating areas. You have a nice cozy place in front of the dual sided fireplace, or you could also sit in a private reading zone. And again, these windows are just beautiful and showcase all the beautiful greenery around you. I want you to take a look at those French doors. Let it crystal and those go to the backyard. Nice private area off the primary bathroom. Everything has been remodeled. Double vanities, granite countertops, travertine floor, in a beautiful, timeless fur side pattern. Imagine taking your bubble bath in that spa bath. Asia is imagining it right now. <laughs> Who said that? Asia. <laughs> Thanks, Asia. <laughs> We have automatic lighting, so when we come into the bathroom, they'll turn on. But again, this is a one of the two half baths. There are five full baths and two half baths in the main home. Tons and tons of storage. Everywhere you look, there are storage spaces. I'm going to take you up the main stairway which has the custom iron handrail. Take notice of all the unique shapes. And again, they popped in windows everywhere so that you felt like you were just part of nature. The beautiful light fixtures. This guest suite is an ensuite bedroom. with the unique A-frame ceiling line. And again, I cannot even say it enough, these beautiful cedar and pine trees out the windows. Jen liked the white, uh, the wallpaper down in the- Oh, the wallpaper, yeah. Down her bath, yeah. <laughs> they have great taste, my owners, and they've done a beautiful job on this remodel. Porcelain tiles, also granite, decorative surrounds. It has two uh, whole house fans. And any of you who have lived with a whole house fan, you would know that this is just one of the most amazing things to have in this type of home, in this type of area. You can bring in the cool air at night and blow out the hot air during the, what it captures during the day. Chandeliers, everything is light and bright. And we kind of have a little bit of a cloudy overcast day today, but it's still very bright and airy in the home. I can imagine this being either just another seating area or it could be used for desks if you'd like. There is an office downstairs, but there's multiple options. This is another guest room. And as you're walking through, it's a Jack and Jill style bathroom. Granite countertops, porcelain floors. Into the second guest suite. 
and they're very ample in space. This is a queen, or sorry, a king size bed, and you can see there's still just a tremendous amount of space to have seating for your guests to enjoy the beautiful surroundings, or you have family members. And don't forget, there's this little fun cubby back here. I featured it in my pictures, but turn on the light. <laughs> I thought I just had it on. Hold on, Brandon's gonna help us out here. There we go. <laughs> Wouldn't this be a fun little playroom for one of the kids? Or grandkids. Each closet has organizers and shelves. Now if there, what wasn't enough space between the enormous family room and the formal living room, this house is also equipped with a giant game room. Now I can imagine pool tables, foosball tables, we already have a little poker table set up. A wet bar and a full bathroom that served to get the game room. Granite countertops, new cabinetry, new light fixtures, engineered wood floor. This room that my owners used as another playroom for the kids. This could be anything. It could be a theater. And you'll notice all these doors. The doors open to additional storage. <laughs> so there's shelves here, shelves in that one. So you're, you're not going to run out of, of storage, that's for sure. distance away so if you had extended family look at the privacy that you would have we'll go down to the guest house for just a little bit and I'm going to show you the rest of the house so we'll take the second stairway down and that lands at the family room another half bath on this side. So we were on the other side of the home, there was a half bath for guests. And now on this side, we have another half bath that serves this side of the house. Beautiful slate, wainscot with granite inlay. Now, this room I have shown as both an office and a guest room since this is a built-in Murphy bed. This can tilt up and this could be a very sizable office. Then a huge utility room and another full bath. If you have other family members that are staying in the, the downstairs office slash guest suite, they have a private full bath just for their own use. This leads to the four car garage. I normally have my sellers put all of their stuff in the garage, so we'll just have a quick peek. They typically will store their items in here. But 
you can see how large it is. This property sits on 4.84 acres and it is about 5.3 miles to downtown. So just a quick drive to downtown Nevada City. There are doors and out to all the covered porches. And now I'm going to be careful because as we walk out here, we may lose connection. Both homes are on separate septic systems. They share one well. We have reports online and more details on the property at a clickable link. So if you have any questions at all, definitely click on that link and you can get additional details. It just smells so fresh out here, you guys. I just can't even, I can't even begin to tell you how beautiful this property is. So we're gonna take a short break so I can walk to the secondary house and then we'll be right back with you. Welcome back. Well, this is going to be our tape version of our live event. And I just want to point out that remember what I said in the main house, we're on 4.84 acres. And what could be better place to have animals? Look at these most adorable puppies, full grown dogs here, dogs, horses, goats. You can have it all. We are standing in the, in the additional unit. This is a three bedroom, two bath house, 1189 square feet. As you can see, there's ample space for the living area. The kitchen and breakfast nook areas are also large. You might notice, and I put this in the listing, that we did a little bit of playing with the wood in the photographs, which I made a note. They used maple, two different stain colors, and then these are quartz countertops. We're going to walk back. It's a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, it has a separate pantry, and wait till you see the outside deck. Beautiful fireplace surrounded by flagstones. Come on, puppy. The room sizes are generous. Remember to continue to ask questions because once we go back online again at the main house, we can answer those questions. This is the second bedroom. Owners have done so many improvements to the main home and the guest home that there's just too many to list in the listing. So we've broken them down per room so that you can see all of the upgrades, all of the new amenities. Come on, puppies. An enormous deck. This is Trex. And then look at this outdoor barbecue eating area. That's okay. This is my owner. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> We're enjoying kind of the pre fall rain. As you can see, just like the main home, every window looks out to that beautiful lush forest. They're uniquely architecturally designed so that they add appeal with the radius top. This master has French doors out to the enormous deck, which I'm going to take you out to to explore. and then a very nice ample size primary bathroom. It just makes 
the pine trees smell better. Granite counters. Fully equipped. Outdoor kitchen. And it's fully fenced so your animals can stay nice and safe. I'm going to make my way back to the main house so we can go back live and answer any questions you might have. Welcome back to our live tour of 15052 Lola's Echo Road. And we just did the tour of the guest house, which we had to take because we lost connection in between the houses. And so we will post that to the story. But it sounds like we have a few people that have jumped on to ask some questions. Erica, what's the first one? Why are the sellers moving? Oh, that's a great question. So why are the sellers moving? I get this question quite often, especially when you see such a beautiful estate. They ask, why would they want to move from that? Well, it's just the two of them now. So they had family here, and once everybody moved out, the home is just a little bit too large, and they would love to have another family enjoy it like they did. So they are living in the guest house while I get the benefit of showing the main house. They are going to move out because the home is just too large. Okay. And what's the next one? Um, they wanted to see more details about the range. Okay, so the range is something that was new to me, and I'm actually very familiar with appliances, but this one is custom built in Italy. It's called an Ilve. It has these beautiful, unique kind of vintage handles, sterling handles. There's two of the quick heat... Um, what are these oh. called? Burners. <laughs> and then, so it's a six burner, plus it has um, probably like a griddle for pancakes or outdoor type like steak grilling. And this is a propane range. Has two ovens, nice large oven here. And you can see the owner basically didn't hardly use it after the remodel. Their family moved and everything is just almost brand new. So it's always nice also to have a pot filler here so that you can get your water filled for pasta. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful range. And next, um, is there a pantry? Oh, <laughs> we rock right by it, but I can take you into it. So yes, there's actually a butler's counter that serves the main dining room. And check out this pantry. Let me get the lights to go on. Very nice size. Plus, not to mention all the drawers for storage. Everything is extra deep. The owner also put in these custom inserts just to capture any moisture or water. If anything were to happen and the sink were to leak, which it does not, you can see how clean it is, that would capture it so it wouldn't go onto the floor. It's a Kohler sink with inserts. I wouldn't mind washing dishes. I wouldn't mind washing <laughs> dishes there either. Okay. <laughs> Next. Um, how many HVAC systems are okay, there? Okay, so that's a great question. So the house has multi zones. It, there are four units on the home, and there is one unit on the guest house. So there are a total of five units on property. So they are both heating and air units. Plus, don't forget, there's also the whole house fan. And that is a very economical way to cool down your home because it'll bring in the cool air in the evenings when you open the downstairs windows and it'll push out the hot air in the second story. And through the attic. Love that. Um, have they been serviced recently? Oh yes, as, as a matter of fact, right before we went on the market, the owner had every unit serviced and got a clean bill of health and they are ready to, to take on a new family. How long does it take to get to Lake Tahoe? Oh, Lake Tahoe. So that is a great question because you are perfectly situated, very close to the slopes. And you do get snow here, but it typically will melt off so that you can get in and out of your driveway easily. But it's about just over an hour to Tahoe City. Um, and But it's even closer to Sugar Bowl, if you like skiing at Sugar Bowl. And... Um, What's unique about Nevada City? 
Oh, Nevada City. Well, first of all, Nevada City is only just over five miles from the home. And Nevada City is a very quaint, old gold rush town. And they have some of the most unique events. And uh, one that comes to mind, which is coming up very soon, which is called Victorian Christmas. So they run that period, uh, they, they close the Main Street down, or it's actually called Broad Street. And then many people will dress in period clothing and they'll bring their, their handmade items. The stores stay open late and it's just a wonderful event to come to. It's not very far from Grass Valley and Grass Valley also has an amazing holiday um, tradition they call Cornish Christmas. And that is similar. They close down the main street of Grass Valley and they have people that are selling everything from caramel corn to candles. Um, one thing that's coming up that I don't want you to miss, and you know me, anybody that's on follows me know that I'm a big into horses. The Draft Horse Classic is coming up. And Draft Horse Classic, I believe, starts on the 21st. You really shouldn't miss it. It is an amazing event, and it's held at the Nevada County Fairgrounds, which is very close to here, just probably about six miles total. Lisa wants to know what kind of countertop is on the island. Oh, the island is wood, it, it, walnut. It's a walnut and it has a really nice um, dark stain, but look at the grain pattern. Beautiful on those. Thank you for the question, Lisa. And this is a wireless charging pad. Wireless charging pad. And then it has the outlets and the USB ports. But it's so nice because it doesn't, it pops down there so it looks really pretty when you're entertaining. I want to point out one other thing that I thought was so beautiful and unique to the property. The owner custom made cedar live edge mantles. Let's go take a look at the main one. They're at least three, it looks like it's about three inches thick. I believe the cedar came from the property. Is that correct, Erica? Yes. And look how beautiful this is. So there's one in the family room. It's just so pretty. And another in the formal living. So let's walk to the formal living. Um, we will be wrapping up this live version if there are no other questions during the live segment. Then we will monitor my Instagram so that we can answer anything that comes in after. And I really want to thank everyone that joined. I'm super excited about this house. It's really a beautiful house. I cannot wait to deliver it to a a new family and come and see it in person because it's even more remarkable in person. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.